Hey guys, I'm back, and today in this video, I'm going to be doing a, a, a normal update because I've got two new two new corals in the tank, which I'm going to show you now. Here's one of them. Okay, so this little coral here, this is a uh, war coral or brain coral, uh, Favia coral, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's a little frag of it. Well, it is a it is quite a big, it is quite de it's quite decent size of it. That's some nice colours, you know, red and the green. And it's got its little um little blue patch on the left there uh, so it's only been in there for about four or well, only a few days about four or five five about five days um, so not long but it is doing it is doing well it's settled in properly it hasn't died or anything so it's doing well in the tank I don't know if it's gonna grow or anything I have tried feeding it once didn't really eat that much at all but um, yeah it's, it's a nice coral see how it gets on uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's the war coral, and the second coral I've got in the tank hasn't really got much coral because uh, I got stock lighting on this tank, so uh, you can't really see. But it is another SPS coral. This came from my dad's tank. Uh, he's had this little frag in his tank for quite a, well, for a couple months now, and so I decided to put it in mine. So it's just one little frag, about five little sticks on it. That's called uh, pink hystrix. Uh, you can't really see the the colours because it's uh, it's just stock lighting. So. It's not great, but see if it grows. I don't know if it will because it's, uh, it's SPS. It's quite high demanding light. Um, I haven't got much, and it's, I try to put it as high as I can. So I just put it in that middle bridge there, because that was uh, quite an empty space there. I got rid of some pole scroll that was on that rock as well. Um, so yeah, well, pink history has only been in there for about well, it's been in there for about five days, but we were messing around with it. Uh, we tried gluing it onto the rock, but it just snapped and just any, anyway, one thing led to another. But it's, uh, it's on there now, see how it gets on. Uh, the other corals are doing alright, SPS is growing, GSP is starting to come out a bit more. So is growing, same as usual. Candy cane, you can't really see that because that's a bit weird. But the uh, the hammer here is really, really expanded recently. I've upped the flow, which I'll talk about in a, in a sec. Uh, hammer's really pumped up, so already starting to grow because I'm seeing the, uh, the head really starting to expand and push out, like split. I don't think they do split, but... It is a branching hammer, but I don't know if that means it branches from the stalker, if it splits, I don't really know. Uh, this uh, Duncan Coral is also doing great. Uh, no new heads, it's kind of maxed out on the, the amount of heads it's got. So it's just going to take quite a while for them to actually fully branch out, which, which some of them are already starting to do. That candy cane you can't really see properly, I don't know why, it's just a bit of a... It's just because the light and the camera feel looks a bit funny. This wall coral, I haven't really seen much growth on this yet. It is quite a low spot in the tank, but you see it looks absolutely amazing. I'm using uh, the camera filter to uh, look at these corals. Uh, just show their colours. That's the wall coral again. Um, yeah, the uh, the torch is doing alright. That's probably doubled in size since I got it. Which has been in there for about three or four months now. It's doing amazingly. To see the flow in it, it's just, it's just incredible. Uh, Coraline has really started to take back. I did say this a few weeks ago, but it is really starting to come back now. I don't see any any white spots on, on the uh, pink Coraline now. Um, it's the bit that was at the uh, the overflow in the uh, top left now. Uh, that was fully white. That is now fully pink again, which is great. Um, I don't know what was causing that, but I did do quite a large water change a few weeks ago. Um, that might have resolved it. Uh, water changes, yeah, I am doing them every other week now um, because my alkaline is just staying right up there, about 13. About it's, the, it's just maxed out. That alkaline so is great. Uh, magnesium, calcium, right where it should be. Nitrates, it's just that's the only reason I have to do water changes really, is just to keep the nitrates steady. Uh, well, not steady, just uh, quite low. I don't really want them any more than five. In between one and five is all right. Uh, right now they're at about three. And then I'll do a water change probably this week, maybe I might skip it, I don't really know, it depends on what my parameters are like. Um, but everything's uh, nice and stable, it's doing alright. So coming back to flow, um, I've I've angled, well I did this a couple of weeks ago, but I did angle the wave machine a little bit further up, so I just get that little extra surface vegetation of gas exchange, and then I get a little, uh, quite a nice uh, shimmer going on. You can see uh, it's on continuous flow, so it's continually running at, uh, that thing. Uh, apart from night, I, I switched that off, and it's on three dots, so that means it's at um, one th about 1,100 litres an hour. So total in the tank, including the pump, I've got about 1,700 litres an hour, but most of that's aimed at the surface. 
um, so everything's getting a quite a nice flow. Uh, GSP could use a little bit more, but it, I mean it's a soft ball. It's not a it's not a super fussy one. But to be honest, my kind there's loads of different, there's there's green star pollocks, but there's different strains of it. My one's got a funny coloured man. It's just it's just a bit of a weird one. Um, two nights ago, I did brush it off though. Actually, no, this no this was last night actually. I got a um, I got the pump and I just really pu like pumped it and kind of like scrubbed it and loads like quite a bit of this algae and stuff just came off it and it's really starting to come out now uh, which is nice um so yeah that was, uh, was quite a well, quite a small update not really much to update usually i mean if i was doing videos monthly then there was there would be quite a bit to up update but i do them weekly uh, to keep things i try and keep things entertaining for you so I think that will do it for this video, I've pretty much covered everything that's been new happening in the past week. Um, on Saturday I'm kind of going on quite a trip, we've gone to quite a few uh, shops, um, just to see, what, see what they got and all that. Um, and you'll see me next week with, I don't know what, um, probably another update. Uh, but yeah, you'll, uh, you'll find out then. Bye. <laughs>